Hello, I'm Evgeny Yelisev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianOfTheRussian.com. We start a conversation about the verb to have in Russian language, and today you will see how we make sentences like I have a car, do I have children, and so on. To have in Russian is emit. This verb is used with the accusative case. Машина, car, иметь машину, to have a car. As I said in my previous lessons, in Russian language there are no articles. Семья, family, иметь семью, to have family. Дом, house, иметь дом, to have a house. Дети, children, иметь детей, to have children. Деньги, money, иметь деньги, to have money. But to say, I have a car, she has children, they have money, we prefer to make sentences in a different way. In other words, we rarely use the verb emit in the present tense. For example, I have a car in Russian is у меня есть машина. It literally means at me is car. The general rule is the following. To express possession of something, you should use the preposition у, put the name of the owner in the genitive case, add the word есть, which is the third person singular of the verb быть to be, and add the name of the object that someone has. Let's see the full paradigm. У меня есть машина. I have a car. У тебя есть машина. You have a car, if you address the person as ты. У него есть машина. He has a car. У нее есть машина. She has a car. У нас есть машина. We have a car. У вас есть машина. You have a car, addressing several people. У вас есть машина. You have a car, a polite form. У них есть машина. They have a car. We use the form есть regardless of the quantity of objects that we have. Compare, please. У меня есть машина. I have a car. У меня есть машина и дом. I have a car and a house. У меня есть машины и дома. I have cars and houses. In all situations, we use the form есть. If you want to say that someone has something, you should put his name in the genitive form. To do it, you should change the ending of the name using the following patterns. The ending a is replaced with u. Marina u Marini. After hashing consonants, the ending is i. Natasha u Natashi. The same ending we use after the letters K, G and H. Olga, u Olgi. If the name ends in ya, we replace it with e as well. Maria, u Marie. If the male name ends in a consonant, we add the ending a. Anton, u Antona. If the male name ends in ikratkaya or in the soft sign, we replace them with ya. Andrei, u Andreya. Igor, u Igorya. Foreign female names ending in a consonant don't change their forms. Jane, u Jane. Nargis, u Nargis. Let's see some examples. У Марины есть семья. Marina has family. У Андрея есть мечта. Andrea has a dream. У Антона есть дети. Anton has children. 
Anton is a male name, that's why we change its form. У Джейн есть деньги. Jane has money. Jane is a female name ending in a consonant. That's why we don't change its form. To ask a question, it's enough to change the intonation. Compare, please. У тебя есть машина. You have a car. У тебя есть машина? Do you have a car? Да, есть. Yes, I do. Or, да, yes. Or, есть. I do. У Андрея есть братья и сестры. Андрея has brothers and sisters. У Андрея есть братья или сестры? Does Андрея have brothers or sisters? Нет. No. Or, нет, нет. No, he doesn't. In colloquial speech, you can also hear such versions of the negative answer as нет, нету, or simply нету. But these ones are not used in the literary speech. Sometimes the words есть may be omitted, but we will talk about it in our next lesson. From next week, New videos will be published two times a week, on Mondays and on Thursdays. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian Skype lessons. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next video.